Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Poor Boy's Little Homestead. Today is March the 1st of 2021. Today, I'm going to be showing y'all how to set up your rabbit breeding chart on Microsoft Excel. What's good about this chart set up on Microsoft Excel, once you put the date that you bred that rabbit, it'll automatically pop up all your other dates, imported dates. So let's get into it. guys first i'm gonna just show y'all one that i got set up and then we'll come back and i'll show y'all how to set it up but as you can see in the top column this is for my rabbits and you can put any kind of comments in here you want or, or actually you can set this up the whole thing how you want i'm just showing you how i done it my book rabbit's name blake shelton that is Gwen Safani and Kelly Clarkson. I got the date they was born. A little info about when you can read, read a rabbit. Those had baby 28 to 32 days. Anyway, you can put it whatever kind of information you want up there to remind you. Like hatching chicken eggs. I have one set up for chickens and one set up for quails. So I put that information up here so it, as a reminder when I do it, but in the first column, I got the name of the doe, which I got two does, Gwen and Kelly. Number of times they've been bred, which will be one. An example, date bred. If I change that date to today's date, three slash one slash 21, it automatically pops up today's Monday, March 1st, 2021 25 days later I want to put the nest box in it automatically tells me that's Friday March 26 2021 the due date since the rabbits due date varies from 28 to 32 days I set up two columns and I got one for day 28 and the second one for day 32 so somewhere between 329 and four two, the rabbit should be born. Then I got a column. That column there don't automatically do date of birth. That would you would come in here and just put that day. I'm gonna just say they was born on 329. I'd put that in there. And it automatically changes it. But, but see, when I put that date in there, then it automatically tells me the date that I can rebreed that rabbit. The number of babies that that rabbit had, the date to remove nest box at three weeks old, date to wean at five weeks old, and the date that I can butcher these were rabbits at 11 weeks old. Now, like I said, if you want that change, you can set it up however you do yours. Then I have another column here I added so I can keep up with the number that was born dead. And then I just got a comments. So this is what I'm going to be trying to show y'all how you can set up on Microsoft Excel. So I'm going to go to a blank page. All right, guys. Now we are on a blank page. Once you go to your Microsoft Excel blank page. So like mine, I'm going to do 13 columns. So there's columns A, B, that's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And while that's highlighted, you right click on it, come down to Format Sales, left click, and then you go to Alignment, and you want to click the Wrap text and merge sale and that there is where you can put in anything you want your I'm gonna just type anything 
you won't hear. If you fill that up, since it's wrapped, you can put your little cursor. I hope y'all can see that on this computer here. But you can make that column as wide as you want it. And it'll, it'll keep typing and fill that up, all the information you want. So right under it, we're going to start setting up our columns. I'm going to put name or the name of the rabbits, the does. Number times bread. I just like keeping up with that. And see, when that column's too big for that, you right click, go back to format cells. This takes a little while to set up. Go to alignment, wrap text. You don't want to merge cell, you just want to wrap text. That's a way to wrap it like that. And then when I get, then I, if you want to center them, you go up here. And you center them, and you can center them middle ways. We're going to put install nest. I like to bear with me with my typing. Box, 25 days. Go back, format that, wrap text. Date due. This is date due on first one's 28 days. Go back to format cells, wrap text, and then I'm gonna put the date due, the last date due. 32 days. That way you know you got a window there. Go back to format cells, wrap text. Actually, I'm gonna show y'all a shortcut right now. You can highlight all your columns. Right click, go to format cells, hit wrap text, then hit okay. Now every time you type in there, it order automatically wrap text. So date of birth. Date. Can rebreed. Number born. Like I said, if you don't want them in this order, you can change. Number born dead. Date to remove nest box. Let's see. 21 days, 21 days after they're born. Date to wing, be 77 days, five weeks. Date to butcher, I made a mistake y'all. Date to wings, 35 days. Three weeks, date to butchers, 11 weeks, 77 days. And then I'll do a comments. And the comments, so you can stretch, move your cursor up to the top and get right on that line. And when you see that black line appear, you can left click and you can make that comment section wider. Then you can highlight them all. When you highlight, put your little cursor over there. Left click and hold it down and drag across. Then you go up here to the top. I hope y'all following my cursor. You can center them all. Boom. 
both directions. In the center left and right and center up and down. All you can do all that at one time. Alright, so now I'm getting started with the formulas. You want the name of your dough. I'm going to say we bred Gwen Sabani. This is her first time to be bred. I'm going to just put a one there. Alright, guys, I forgot to I forgot to insert the, the most important column. That's the date bread. So when you want to insert a column, if you forget something or want to add something, you got to do this. You got to have all your columns set up before you put your formulas in or they won't work. So if you get through all your formulas and then you want to add a column, you got to redo the whole thing because your columns, you'll see here in a minute how, how you enter them. But left click on the, I want my column to come up between name and number bread, number times bread. And then you, after you left click on it, then you right click, come down to insert, entire column, and then we can put date bread. And now I got to re wrap text that one because it was added. Date of breeding. I don't know about add date of breeding. Alright, so we're going to say they was bred today's date. Today is 3 slash 1 slash 21. Now, to make that date long dates, you left click on it and you go up here to this column up a hop where it says date and you open it up and you want long date. That way it tells you Monday, March the 1st, 2021, if you like it this way. Next is number of times bred. This is our first time. Install nest box 25 days later. So here's where you start entering your formula. You click equals. When you, when you keep add equals. And then you left click on the date you bred them. Then you hit the plus sign. 25 and hit enter. Now, see, it automatically tells me Friday, March 26, 2021. Date due, hit equals. Left click on date bread, hit plus one time, 28 for 28 days and hit enter. Date due at 32s. Equals. Left click on date bread. Plus 32 for 32 days. Enter. Now the date of birth. You'll automatically add this date. Because you don't know which, which day they're going to be born on. So when they're born. We're going to say it was born on April the 1st. Four. Slash one slash twenty one. Again, you want to left click on that and come back to your date or make it a long date. Date you can rebreed. So if she give birth on April the first, and you want to rebreed yours at five weeks. Or three weeks, however, whatever, six weeks, or if you want to do it in three months, you just put equals. Click on date of birth. Plus, and I'm going to say five weeks. That's 35 days. And hit enter. And then there, number of rabbits born, I'm going to say she had five rabbits. Zero was dead. And 
date to remove nest box would be the date equals date they was born left click on plus 21 days enter that's the date you can remove your nest box date to wing left click on it equals go to the date born plus 35 days enter or whenever you want to breed them i'm just doing this for an example i mean wean them this is just for an example and date the butcher left click on it equals go to the date of birth left click plus 77 days enter now now that you got all your formulas entered you come back and you actually have to do the same thing the second time or this is the only way I know how to do it. And once you enter it the second time, I'll show y'all how you copy and paste it on every column and you can do you a hundred lines of it or two hundred. You can just drag it down and keep this on your computer and you can read for years. So I'm gonna go through the same process again. Equals date plus 25, enter. I'm gonna change that to long date. Due date equals left click on date of breeding plus 28, enter. We're gonna change that to long. I'm gonna go back over here to the date of breeding and change that to long, long date. Date due at 32 days equals date of breeding. You know, don't forget you got a left click on date of breeding. Then plus sign, 32 days, enter. Date of birth, 4, 1, 21. And when you enter your dates, even after you change these to long dates, you can type them in just like I just typed it in and it'll automatically change it to that date. So on the date of breeding, you ain't got to type out Monday, March 1st. You just type out 3-1-21 and it'll automatically put the Monday in front of it. Date to rebreed equals date of birth plus up. Uh, Thirty-five number born five zero date to remove come back to date equals date of birth plus twenty-one enter date to wing equals Date of birth, left click, plus 35 for 35 days, enter. Date the booster, equals, date born, left click, plus 77 days, enter. All right, now we got it in there twice. Now I'm sure there's a shorter way to do that, but I'm no computer by no means 
somebody would have told me when I was 20 years old that I'd even be using a computer, I'd, I'd have told them they crazy. But to copy that all the way down, guys, all you do is you put your cursor on your top, whatever column you in, put your cursor in it. And you see that little square right in the corner? You put, well, first you put your cursor in it, left click, and drag down and highlight both of them. Then you move your cursor to that little spot right in the bottom right corner until it turns to that black crosshair. And then you hold your left click down and you drag it. And you can drag that down. Like me, I do 100 pages at a time. Because later on, all you got to do is grab it and drag it on down again. Come back up. Time of breed, see, you ain't going to do that because that's, that's going to be manually put in. Install nest box, left click, hold your left click, highlight both of them, then right click on that, I mean, put your cursor at the bottom right corner and left click and hold it and drag them down. Next column, left click, then hold it down, highlight both of them, let off the click. Move your cursor over till the little black line comes up, left click, hold it down. And that's how you drag it. And after you drag them, you see it's putting the same dates in there. But that ain't, I'll show you in just a second. This is just copying your formula so you ain't got to manually enter them, enter them all the way down. Like I said, you can drag these. You want to make you 200, whatever you want to do. So, all right, so now we're going to say our first column, Gwen, was bred on March the 1st, 2021. We're going to leave that all set up. So, my next doe is Kelly. I'm going to say I bred her on, to make it simple, April the 1st. And you see it automatically changed to date to Thursday, April 1st. It automatically put in 25 dailers, put April 26th, put your nest box in. It automatically put everything in. Now, if you come across something like that right there, that's because your column ain't wide enough. Let me back up so y'all can see that. Your column ain't wide enough for everything it's spelled out. So all you do is move your cursor up here and you can left click on it and move it over just a little bit, make it wider, and it'll, and then it'll enter it. Date of birth you gotta put in manually because you don't know which one of these dates they gonna be born in. So I'm gonna say they was born on, I'm gonna say they was born on March the 2nd of 21. And once I entered that, the date they was actually born, then it then it automatically puts in my date. You can rebreed the date to remove the nest box, the date to wean, and the date you can butcher. And then any kind of comments, if your comments ain't wide enough, you can. Move your cursor up there, left click on it, and you make it wide as you want. And then you, when you type it in, always remember you can left click on it, right click on it, go down to format cells, and you can wrap text. Hit OK, and then it don't matter how much you write in there, I'm going to say three rabbits. born blue two rabbits born black three were males and I'm just doing this just so I can type something 
to show y'all that it then it it automatically give you room and make that uh, row wider so you can get everything in there. But guys, it's very neat once you get it set up. Then if you know this much about a computer, I know you know how to go to file and save it in your documents or wherever you want to save it so you'll always have it. But I was sitting there and I decided I wanted me something that way I ain't got to write on calendars. Now I might use this and still have my little calendar out there at my rabbit tree to write it on. But if that calendar got wet or something happened to it, I got all my information right here. Plus I can keep this information forever as long as I got them does. And once I change those, all you do is just change names. If you want to add a row in there, left click, right click, insert, entire row. You can add entire row and you could put something like 2022 or, or new rabbits or doe swap, whatever you want to put in there to start your start your new chart and that way you still got your old chart you always have to look back on to learn from but guys like i said i ain't no computer geek by no means but i thought this might be something someone might be interested in i hope it helps someone out out there if you like these little videos give me a thumbs up hit subscribe Next video I'm going to do, I'm going to set one up for my egg hatching for my chickens and then for my quail eggs. And I'm probably put a video up on it. But thanks for watching. Have a great day. God bless.